Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and uh, it's Fossil Monday so uh, I thought we'd crack on do some fossils uh, I think we're going to be washing some rocks sounds a bit weird but um, so it's fossils we've already found we're cleaning them up, finding other fossils on those rocks so um, something you, it's best to cut them as clean all the dirt off as much as possible, possible so you've just got solid rock so you know you're not going to you're not damaging other fossils as you're working. So, um, yeah, it's nice because we get to find stuff on stuff we've already found. So, we have got to find stuff without walking. Whee! Lazy fossil and that's what we like. So, uh, yeah, let's... Um, I'm going to try my best to get some good footage, try not to be shaky, and I'm going to try and keep it in focus. So, uh, some main aims for today. Make a better quality video for you. So, um, I'm going to try my best, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in a sec. So these are our tools. We've got our dirty rocks to wash, and we've got my little scrubber, and we've got my tapper just in case we want to do some tapping. Um, now this one is where we're finding the nice teeth in with the big bit of bone. Now I've realised now that this is so squashed all the bones and stuff are if I chisel them out they're just going to fall to bits see all these micro fractures so I tried getting one of the teeth out a bigger one it was about that long counting the tip of that one and um, it, it just shattered so uh, I'm going to have to expose them but not get them out of the rock I think so um, I'm going to get you set up and then um, We'll start cleaning some rocks. Okay, so um, we're going to start off with, I think, this nice big one. So I'm just going to dunk her in, get it nice and wet. We're just going to start scrubbing her. Dunks and scrubs, you know what you want. See if we can get anything exposed. Sometimes you don't find much, sometimes you find loads. So it uh, uh, depends on the feeling. We'll be careful because we've got a fossil there, so we can give that a wipe as well. So we still want to be careful. We're starting to get little bits and bobs show up. So we can give it a little tappy just to check it's not too rock hard. This one needs a bit of a soak to get it soaked into the mud. So let that one just soak in the wet. And we move on to one that I think is going to clean up a bit more. Come on, getting drenched. Absolutely getting drenched. So we've got to be careful because we are actually flicking off bits of rock. And stuff like that. This is quite a flaky bit of rock. It's almost a, a very, very compact shale, almost. Now, I wasn't mushing this one when I first picked it up. It was the, uh, we saw a couple of teeth at the one end, but not much else. So we're starting to see a couple of signs of more teeth in it, which is great, which we thought we would have, that's why we picked her up. Oh. So the water's getting filthy already. So you can see we're getting we're getting dirt off them. I don't think you can see because of the glare. But all there is all uh, bits of bone and teeth and stuff like that. Just move it a bit, see if you can. I'm not sure if the glare is on it or not, so I can't tell if you can see. But I, uh, I will get me better camera out, and we'll, I'll show you on that one. But uh, we'll move on to another one. I think we're, I'm going to move on to the big one. I can't wait. We can't wait. We're going to move on to the big one. But this one we're going to have to hold and scrub. I've got to be careful. I don't want to damage me a bit of bone. So 
And this one, I'm very interested on doing the other side as well. So I haven't even had a little look at the other side yet at all. So we get some nice signs of teeth. If you hear any noise, it's because you're on top of a bottle and it's bubbling up through it. <laughs> So we'll give it a couple more scrubs and then we'll have a good look through it. Usually you have to wait for it to dry off to get a better look. Start to see with the glare in this light. A bit cloudy this morning. There's definitely something there, I can see it. Another bit of tooth there as well. I think this is all. Look at that, see? Water's getting into it. Making it flake off. But we want to look through it just in case there's any teeth or anything in it we want to keep because it looks like there's something there but this whole flake wants to come off so uh, we've got to be careful what we're doing some of the caked on muddy bits Definitely got another tooth. Right there. So that one wasn't there before. We had these two, that one, and what is it come out? What have we been cleaning? Oh, we've knocked a tooth loose. We've knocked a tooth loose. It's most likely in here. I'm going to check that out afterwards. We definitely had two at the top here. And I've definitely lost one. But we gained another one there. That's not good, is it? Losing fossils. Good thing I'm on a table like this, so everything's all down there. Oh, this is just. Look at that, it's just coming off with my fingers now. It? It's all clay. So that's a big bit that's just come off. There's definitely something in that. I'm going to put this aside. Another big slab's come off. Doesn't look like there's anything in that. So we've got a start of another tooth as well. So that's good. I didn't get much on the other side though. Thought I was going to get a lot more. Thought I was going to get stuff poking through and stuff like that. But we can't get everything, can we? So now it's dried off a bit. We can have another look through. There's a nice bit of bone there. That's quite nice. Didn't know that was there before. Um, what's this one there? Don't wear your nice trousers when you're doing this. I'm drenching myself. No, not much more came on that. But you never know, you never know until you clean. It's not on cleaning the, the fossils we've got on there anyway. That's nice. I'll do a bit of tapping as well before the end of the video. But a lot of it's flaking off on its own. That's just from leaving it outside just to weather a little bit. Get anything on this one, would it? Got pigeons cooing behind me, sorry for that. But um, I'll get some fresh water and uh, 
See if I can find that uh, that tooth. So I thought we'd have a go exposing this bit of bone today. So um, I want to get this little lump off the top of it. So uh, we've got the, the hammer, we've got the little chairs. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, start tapping and see how we get off. So, so I think that's the best we're going to get. So we're trying to see this all black here. This is what we're trying to expose. So, as we've said before, this has got a quite overhang now. So we want to try and get this overhang to pop off. So we're going to go at the top of the overhang. And just get the overhang just to shear off for us. Oh, a bit too much then. Go back a bit more. Okay, look. That was a nice piece came off. Doesn't look like it took any bone with it, that's perfect. So that's what you don't want, you don't want a big piece of bone to flake off. Because it does tend to do it if you take too much off at once. The rock wants to be away from the, the fossil. But if you take too much rock, it'll hang on to it. And we don't want it to hang on to it. We want it to fall apart. See, we've got all that nice bit of bone there, all there now. So if we keep going back, and um, we might go down this way to see how long it is. Be nice to find out if it's a nice long piece. That's a nice piece coming off, look. We'll be nice and gentle so we don't take any bone with us. And before I start again, blow it off so I can see what I'm doing. Look at that, nice bit of bone showing now. Remember, this has all been crushed, so it's all shattered and it's the rock that's holding it together. So you'll never get it all the way out unless we start using glue. So uh, I've been looking online, and I'm going to start getting the glue, so we can do it a bit more, bit more like the um, uh, what they call, the museums do. Museums use a lot of glue because they want they don't want any rock on it at all. So that's what we'll start doing is uh, getting some glue, and we can start doing it that way. Because you can. Because you, you glue it all, all together, so you don't need the rock. Oh, she's flaking. It's a bit crystally, so it's quite a hard rock. Here. I'm tapping quite hard for what I usually do, and I'm doing sheer grooves down it. <sighs> you can tell it's hard because it's doing that. Oh, there is quite a lip here, though. So, what I might do, save us a bit of time. So you see there, all that bone, there's something there as well. We've got all that extra bone exposed now. And we just, literally, we was nowhere near the fossil. It was at least, oh, 10 mil, 20 mil away. So uh, no problem at all there, tapping. I'm gonna try and come down here because I want to see if we can get a bit further. See if it's a bit bigger. It's weird that you just find the odd bone and you don't find many full things. Because you think they, uh, it shows that it's all been... It's not how it originally laid, if you know what I mean. So the ground's been all shook up and moved. That's why none of the bones are laying where they fell originally. So it's all a bit higgledy-piggledy. 
Ooh, something popped out there. Isn't it? Let's see if we can get this bit to pop off. Bit of blow. Oh, it might be a short piece of bone. I can't tell yet. That looks like it's starting to finish there. We keep tapping until we get. Oh, something's just sheared off there. Oh, look at that piece. Yeah, look at that boom. Oh, we took a tiny bit of bone with us. See, too much came off at once then. I got too keen. But look at that. Got a nice bit of, you can see the edge of the bone now there. Let's get a closer look. See, we've exposed all that now. Not a, it's a reasonable piece, piece of bone to be fair. I mean, if I put my thumb next to it, it's not far off the size of my thumb. See if we can get a tiny bit more off. See, I don't like that sound, it's going right through the rock. I'm hitting a really hard bit of crystal, it doesn't want to shear off. Oh, it's got a bit there. There you go. Rock's going away. Sweet. So we've got a nice bit of bone exposed there now. I'm going to come over here again because I want to see if we can find out where the edge is. I really think we've we've already at the edge. I don't think there's much more to expose. So right by the fossil now. I don't like doing this one. It's the fossil. So yeah, we've got a nice bit of bone exposed there. I think I'll leave that now until we start getting the glue, because I don't want to ruin it. See if I can find anything else we can have a little chisel on. So I thought I'd use my panning skills and uh, see if we can find our tooth. Our missing tooth. Literally, we just spin it around. Oh, look at that. Just come out. Look at that bad boy. That is a cracking tooth. Look at that bad boy. Absolutely fantastic. Cracking little fossil. It didn't shatter coming out either. Very, very small tooth. But still a tooth nonetheless. Hooray, another one for the collection. So there he is, my little tooth. What a busting little find. Hopefully we find a lot more in that piece. It'd be amazing to have a load of set, set of these two little teeth. There's one tooth. There's another. Some more up here. It's all the micro fractures you can see in it. I'm hoping there's gonna be loads of teeth in this.
Lovely bit of bone. Don't think it carries on any further though, which is a shame. And then, this is that other bit we were working on. It's actually smooth, it's really weird to feel. Yeah, once I get some glue, we can do a bit more on them. Well, uh, I hope you liked all the uh, fossil prep and stuff like that. I have got some new, new tools come in. I've got um, an engraving tool with 78 different little bits and little cutting tools and stuff like that so we can proper prep and shape and shape the rocks that the, the fossils are on and stuff like that. I'm trying to find the glue as well <coughs> that the, uh, they use in the museums to preserve the, the bone. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I can find the glue, that would be fantastic because I'll jump on that straight away. Um, drilling tools should be coming tomorrow, so I'll, uh, I'll show you them. We can have a go with them. Um, and I've just found this as well. So uh, someone was throwing it away just because it was broken. One bolt and I fixed it. So uh, this could be great for putting my fossils in, so I'll, I'll quickly show you. Look at that bad boy. So this hinge is broke here. So I've just put a bolt through. And uh, works the truth. So uh, happy days. I can put my fossils away. Or maybe take it with me when I'm collecting them or something. That might be nice. But uh, yeah, works a treat. That does. I'm happy with that. Use that for the fossils. When that's dried out, we can have a bit of a better look at it there. So we've got teeth there. Teeth there. Teeth there. See how we're doing really well with this one. I mean, look at the detail on that bone. See what I mean by microfractures? It's all shattered. We're having all the weight pressure on it from all the rocks and that. So we might not get it more exposed than this, but if we get the glue, we might be able to. We might actually be able to get it out the rock if I've got the glue. But uh, same with these, because you can't get them out without the glue. It's impossible. We'll just shatter them. So we shall try our best. And as soon as I get my tools, we'll do another fossil video on how to prep with the new tools once I've had a practice. So I, uh, I hope you like the cleaning and the prep work we've done today. And the little tips and tricks I've said. But uh, yeah, it should be really, really good. Now we're getting some new tools. So I uh, hope you enjoy the videos. And I uh, hope you like, subscribe, comment and share for me. And uh, we're ticking up nicely with subscribers now. Doing well, doing well. Um... If you want to watch another video of mine, there should be a box there. If you want to watch a playlist, maybe my fossil hunting adventures, be a box there. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, it'll be a circle up there. And I'll see you in the future. Bye.